Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna shine in the morning. And at nighttime, the moon gonna be there. And you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Hard work brings great rewards. You know, once you do find your frequency on something, is go forward if you're a non-tyrant and don't ask permission. And that's the not giving a damn part. I've found that the world will actually acquiesce and go, yep, I'll give you a green light on that. If you actually go forward and mean it, like you're, and you're gonna do it by hook or by crook and not ask permission. I put the work into this like every day, all day. And then when I'm done with it, guess what I do? I dream about it. I visualize it. I see myself being successful. And anytime I was successful in those situations, I mean, you know, I would always let people know it's through dedication, through your hard work, and through mental preparation and visualization. If you do those things, if you can see yourself being successful in your mind, then it will appear in the physical reality. But the upside of that is, is like, well, there isn't anything better to have than a problem that's worth solving, like that's really worth solving. Right, and so the more of that you take on, the more you have a reason to get out of bed in the morning, no matter what. I think I'm getting up, I'm trudging forward. Doesn't matter what I'm suffering from, I've got things that need to be done, they're necessary. And that gives you that sense of purpose that is the antidote to bitterness. Yeah, there's lots of reasons to, you know, because I've thought for a long time, imagine that, imagine you have a choice in front of you, because you do. So here's the choice. Your life, life is either meaningful or meaningless. It's hard for people to be themselves. They don't like themselves. They don't like what they are. And so they, they like to pretend that they're something more exceptional. You know, but what people really seem to enjoy is people who don't do that. People seem to really enjoy people who just work at being a better person and being better at life. You can learn a lot from someone about how much attention they spend on other people's failures. Right. How much time they spend pointing out other people's failures and how little time they spend reflecting on their own. Yeah. I'll be the first guy, you know, if I f up, if I get angry at something I shouldn't have got angry with. I, I pride myself in, in calling myself out because a lot of people have a hard time defining themselves. They define themselves by failure because they failed. But I'm like, you're not your failures. You're you. Okay. Your life is a series of lessons you've learned. Now, if you just dwell on the failures, like that's not, that's not healthy. It's not smart and it's not empowering. What you got to do is look at those failures and go, well, now you know what not to do. But you're not that. You're yep. you. You know, you could have done the stupidest f***ing shit ever. But it's not you. It's not you. You're, you're a different thing. You're the, the being that's experiencing all these failures. And if you know that they're f***ed ups, then you've learned. Okay? The, if you repeat them over and over again, well, then I can't talk to you. I mean, that's the bright side of tragedy. So when you come through it, you, you really will have an appreciation for the moments without tragedy. You don't really feel it unless you, you get, unless life burns you, you don't really feel it. Understand that you can struggle and you can, you can realize that sometimes when things are really hard to do, you think, oh my God, I got to stop doing this. But once you do it and you complete it, you have a satisfaction, this sense of satisfaction that you did something really difficult that is irreplaceable. I think the idea that's important is action. Do things. Yes. Actually do things. To procrastinate and sit around and debate things forever before anything gets done. Yeah. There's a there's a proper balance though of enough action and enough thinking. That's what I like about physical pursuits, man. You you find out who the f you are. You know, you find out whether or not you're that person who can keep going, whether you're that person who who is consistent. So many people, they start off like, I'm going to run a mile a day. And they run a mile a day for a couple of weeks and they fuck off. You know, it's consistency. Mm -hmm. This showing up when you don't want to show up, forcing yourself to do things you don't want to, but then reaping the rewards. See, happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if-then 
cause and effect, quid pro quo, standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. You see, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result reliant. And I say, if happiness is what you're after, then you're going to be let down frequently and you're going to be unhappy much of your time. Joy, though. Joy is a different thing. It's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do. It is just as important where we are not as it is where we are. Look, the first step that leads to our identity in life is usually not I know who I am. I know who I am. That's not the first step. The first step's usually, I know who I am not. Process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. South of New Orleans, uh, a few years ago, and I went to a voodoo shop. Uh, and they had this, this, this wooden partition against the wall of these columns. And, and in these columns were all these vials of these magic potions right? And the headings above each potion defining what they would give you were things like fertility, health, uh, family, legal health, energy, forgiveness, money. <laughs> Guess which column was empty? Money. Let's admit it. Money is king today. It's what make the world, makes the world go round. It is success. The more we have, the more successful we are, right? Now I would argue that our cultural values have even been financialized. Uh, humility is not in vogue anymore. It's too passive. It's a get rich quick on the internet, richest 15 minutes of fame world that we live in, and we see it every day. But we all want to succeed, right? So the question that we've got to ask ourselves is what success is to us? What success is to you? Is it more money? That's fine. I got nothing against money. Don't. Maybe it's a healthy family. Maybe it's a happy marriage. Maybe it's to help others, to be famous, to be spiritually sound, to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. Continue to ask yourself that question. Now your answer may change over time and that's fine, but do yourself this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize your soul. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. It tastes sweet, but you will get cavities tomorrow, all right? Life is not a popularity contest. Be brave, take the hill, but first answer that question, what's my hill? you want to be the best at something, you're going to find a way to push through those challenges and make sure you do what you need to do to be successful. It's all about work ethic. It's all about what you choose to do in life. What is important to you? What is that goal that you're going to identify and go after and say, I'm going to go after this thing wholeheartedly. It doesn't matter what other people say. This is what I feel. It's positive. I love it. You know, the whole world disappears when I do it and I'm going to channel this thing so I can help myself, so I can help other people. I put the work into this like every day, all day. And then when I'm done with it, guess what I do? I dream about it. I visualize it. I see myself being successful. I see myself hitting those shots with no time on the clock, with a little time on the clock. And any time I was successful in those situations, I mean, you know, I would always let people know it's through dedication, through your hard work and through mental preparation and visualization. If you do those things, if you can see yourself being successful in your mind, then it will appear in the physical reality if you're calm and collected when you get the opportunity. If you want to be great, oh man, prepare to get up off that mat. You're going to get knocked down over and over and over. And even when you feel like, no, 
Nobody, it, I can't be hit this hard. Or if you're down there thinking, there's no way I can get up from this. That's when you're just starting. That's when it, it really kind of, that's when your, your survival skills have to kick in and hopefully you've trained enough in, in, in your mental preparation and really believe enough in yourself to get up. Because, you know, everybody, I think we always uh, said, the easiest thing to do is hold that trophy. That's the easiest thing to do in this process. And that's only gonna be for a very short amount of time. The work, the will, the commitment. Like I said, getting up, not, getting up when you're knocked down, I mean, there's always going to be these struggles that, or, or challenges that you have to get over. And the hardest part is, in you trying to be one of the best in the game, there's going to be a tension with it. You have to live it. You have to want it so bad to where you'll sacrifice those Saturday nights or Friday nights with your friends. This is what I'm going to put my time into because this is what I want. I'm not here to change what you're doing. I'll tell you that you're doing it wrong. I'm just simply giving information. You can use it or not. Keep your circle tight. Make sure that's a bubble that can't be popped. Look at the blueprint. Look at what other people have done. Look at what worked versus what hasn't worked. Educate yourself to it. You choose to, dope. If you don't, even more dope. Your life is gonna be your life no matter what. If all of our lives were gonna be the same, this world would be stupid. You gotta make the dumb mistakes. You can't avoid the dumb mistakes. You can't avoid the life lesson. The whole life lesson, you can't run from that. I welcome it. Smack me, let, let me hit my dumb ass so I know not to do it again. You need to know that this shit is stupid. You can, you can, you know right from wrong. Success is worse than heroin. Success is worse than crime. There's not a limit to it. No, you gotta think with success comes what? Everything's given to you, everything's granted. What you need? No, don't get up. That house right there, is that what you're trying to do? We'll get, listen, don't, we'll, we'll build it and we'll put it underneath your house and you don't have to ever look at it. How do you maneuver? What am I, what, what am I supposed to do with my car? Am I supposed to park my own car? How am I supposed to do that? Clothes, I can't go to the mall. What, they've been bringing my clothes for the last 12 years? Be around people? You become that guy. That's where success becomes the biggest drug. You start to lose sight of realities at different levels. Mm -hmm. Mine was a very low level, but I saw it. But I needed to see it for me to go, ooh, Kevin, uh-uh. People are ignorant to that side of addiction. That's an addiction, that's a real life thing. But people don't understand that. Hard work brings great rewards. This is a reminder of the hard work and dedication that I put into everything that I've done. I'm not content because I know where I came from and I don't ever want to go back. It was a mental thing. So I had to tap out of that and tap into the real me and put the character to the side. I'm a late bloomer in understanding what hard work brings. It's something that my mom beat down my throat, and because of the way she did it, I didn't want to comprehend it. That's what the this is right now. All right, look, man, wake up. Wake y'all asses up. And not only wake up, but wake up with the mindset of being better than you were last week. What's hard is going, yo, yesterday, I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. That's the hardest thing in the world, mm -hmm. to get up every day and give 100% and, and be in the same position that you were each day, but mentally know that you're trying and trying and trying. There's so much that some people just don't understand they can do. How good was your book? What was the ending to your book? If the ending to my book can be so amazing because of all that was done, not the money, all that was accomplished. Let me be a spark to show how much, how many different, you don't have to do just one thing. When it's all said and done, my book is gonna be full of all the shit that Kevin Hart did. Cause I never was content with doing just one, two or three. All right, you got one life. 
in that one life the goal for us is to live it to the best of our ability from the beginning to what's said the end why not